That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. Hey friends, it's time for That's Life with Julie, and it is Random Thought Monday because I have declared it to be thus. And here's a random thought for you. Have you ever noticed, have you ever seen that Embril commercial on TV with Phil Mickelson, that golfer, the one that was never able to beat Tiger, hardly ever, and then Tiger kind of had his little downfall and Mickelson's like, finally, thank you, God, I have an opportunity, and every other golfer in the free world. All right, so anyway, Phil does this commercial, and in this commercial, he's talking about this drug that he's taking for something, and his eyes never blink. Never, 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 never. It's like, and I'm just wondering, is that like some little side effect, you know, when they do the little 12-minute disclaimer at the end of it? Because um, I, I want to be able to blink my eyes if I ever have joint pain. That's just a random thought. Another random thought that I have is I've heard sometimes, I've heard this quoted before, that when you do a keynote message, like say you're pastor of your church or you go hear some great you know, motivational speaker type thing and they speak for an hour, that that hour of speaking actually is equal to an eight eight hour work day. So you know when that person goes off the stage and they go back to their room and they pass out you know it's because they're just wiped out everything that's been expended emotionally and mentally and all that stuff. And here's here's a thought for you. I'm thinking ladies that one hour of real food making like yesterday I made the husband's birthday dinner and he wanted homemade meatloaf so I chopped up the onion and the green pepper and and did all that stuff and then we also had roasted carrots and sweet corn and um, what else did we have mashed potatoes real mashed, mashed potatoes and you know I spent probably two hours or three hours perhaps in the kitchen just getting everything taken care of and here's what I've decided Julie math here that an hour of real cooking um, in the kitchen is going to equal eight days of Gino's frozen pizza on the pizzazz. Yeah, that's what's going to happen there. Another random thought is um, I have held my breath, literally held my breath for like four Kindle pages while reading Daniel Silva's latest book, The Fallen Angel. Okay, I know. Okay. I know that I'm getting like I'm teetering. I'm just kind of teetering on that that Annie Wilkes like non-aggressive, you know, not gonna like break his ankles type thing. But just this obsession with this man's writing, he is unbelievable. Daniel Silva, you're gonna want to read his books. But I literally was reading last night, and I'm just like, oh. and for four pages, I didn't breathe. I literally didn't breathe. I was like speed reading, speed reading, speed reading. And you can kind of kick that out pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? But at 63%, don't know what page number it was because of the Kindle weird thing there. But for for four pages, I could not, I could not breathe because I didn't know what was going to happen to Gabriel, Gabriel Alon. So anyway, if uh, I start asking to be referred to as the character of his wife in the book, well, you want to going to want to do two things. You want to call my husband. <laughs> let him know that. And then the second, uh, maybe the mental health um, experts in my area. That might be a good thing to do. Also, another thing that I want you to do is I want you to consider this. I want you to consider um, shredding, going down like to your office, to your basement, wherever you keep all your stuff. And especially if you have adult children, uh, shredding any and all incriminating evidence of your love life with your spouse. <laughs> you know, letters type things, and um, any uh, pre-surgery photographs of any um, surgical procedures that you had done. Those are my random thoughts for today. I hope your day goes well, and I will catch you a few days later with That's Life with Julie. Talk to you guys soon.